Topic 12, Phases of Matter. And in part 1, we're looking at density that you're all familiar with. Density. Why do we need to use density? We use density because, well, hopefully these two questions will make you aware of the necessity of using density. Density again. Make sure you copy down the definition of density. And if you like, you can write a statement about the meaning of density. Think about that on your own. Now, is density a scalar or a vector? Find out for yourself. From the dictionary, it should be clear. Is it logical that the ratio stays the same? What ratio, you might ask? Well, have a look at this. If you had a thousand kg of water, it would have a volume of one cubic meter. So the ratio is a thousand to one, or just a thousand. And you can use this ratio to work out these two answers here. If you had 500 kg of water, the volume would be... Now, what if you had 6 cubic meters of water? What would the mass be? Do you need to use this ratio every time? Use your logic once again. If you had a uniform piece of wood with a density of 924 kg per cubic meter, what would the density of each piece be if it were cut in half? Think about that. Now we come to the formula for density. No doubt you have come across this formula a number of times since you were doing IG physics last year. And that formula involves three physical quantities. Firstly, rho for density, m for mass, big V or capital V for volume. What about the unit for density? You can derive the unit for density by using the formula you wrote down before. Now, you can use a formula for density to solve this problem, which is quite challenging mathematically. So I suggest you try it.